rest of the Raw TV. Well, tonight we have the Arnold 2017 Arnold Classic picks in Ohio. And um, I do these every year for the Olympia, and I don't think I, I don't know if I did the Arnold last year or not, but I definitely do the Olympia. And this one, I got to be honest with you guys, I'm kind of disappointed in the lineup. Um, when you take like Sean Roden, Dexter Jackson, Kai Green out of the mix, Rami, I don't know if Rami even did the Arnold before or not, did he? I'm not even sure, but you take those guys out of the mix, you have a, uh, um, you know, not so like. As far as the top guys, like the top five guys. But here's the thing. Now it's anybody's show. You know, like every one of these guys have their weaknesses and their strengths. And whoever shows up on the day of that show with the least amount of weaknesses wins the show. So now it's actually kind of interesting. I was a little disappointed to see those other guys not competing. Because, um, you know, you kind of want to see the top guys and see how they're progressing. But sitting out to the Olympia obviously would probably be the best solution as far as... Um, I think some of them have to re-qualify too. Top five I don't think have to re-qualify. But now... I'll tell you right now, guys, um, you know, there's not many guys in this this year. A few of the guys dropped out, like Justin Roden, uh, Justin Compton dropped out, Roden, and Brandon Curry. Brandon Curry's over training with the Camel crew right now in Kuwait. Looks fucking phenomenal. I, I feel like he could probably step into the show and probably place, like, top three looking the way he does right now. Like, he wouldn't even have to fucking drop water. He's so fucking lean and full right now. But, you know, I guess it was in his best interest to just stay out of it. And I'm pretty sure what he's going to try to do is go after a different show to win. And then lead that to the Olympia. I think that's what his plan is now. And probably Justin Compton and Sean Roden, I believe, is still qualified. Second place that qualifies him this year anyways. So we're left with Fuad Abiyad. Or Abiyad. I pronounce it Abiyad. I used to get my balls busted on, geared up when I was a co-host there. It's Fuad Abiyad. Ab Abiyad. Lionel Biecki, Max Charles, Vitaly Fativ, Will Harris, Michael Lockett, Dallas McCarver, Cedric McMillan, Juan Morel, Luke Sandow. I don't know who Vitaly is. I don't know who Luke Sandow is. Okay, so right off the bat, I don't even know how I would place them because I don't even know who they are. Now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, kind of call this as I see it. Who I feel like the top three would be, honestly, Cedric McMillan. I see him winning the Arnold this year if he comes in um, dialed in. I'm, as far as I know, I think he's beaten all these guys before. So it's kind of his show to lose. I mean, that's the way I kind of see it. He has... Definitely got the physique. He's got the dialing in down. It's just a matter of if he's going to come in better than the other guys. Period. That's It's just hands down. So I feel like he would be a good Arnold Classic champion. I mean, that's just my personal opinion. Second place. I would go with Lionel Biecki and um, Dallas McCarther. Second and third. And I think they could both be interchanged depending on who comes in hard enough and, um, and dials it in. I think that... Biecki has more shape and fullness and has more of the look that Roden has, you know, Phil Heath has, Dexter has, rather than the way that, you know, um, Dallas has more of a grainier, harder look, but not. It's two different types of physiques. So second and third, I would put those guys. And I would definitely put Fuad in fourth place. Now, Fuad is big as fuck. The shape's just not as good, but he's got a similar physique to um, Dallas McCarver. So if Dallas is way off, I could see him beating Dallas and winding up in third, Biecki in second, and then um, obviously Cedric McMillan in first. Will Harris is a beast. Um, you know, he's got a great physique, I feel, but it's just not the same type. He's like a superhero physique. You know, he's like something you would see in a Marvel comics rather than, um, you know, being like a Mr. Olympia top competitor. Uh, Michael Lockett, great physique again, but I feel like he doesn't have the complete look like the other guys have. You know, maybe it's because he's natural. Mr. Natural, right? Juan Morrell, big guy, good shape. But, again, doesn't have the type of separations and the type of shape these other guys have. You know, they definitely have one up on him, and he's a big dude. I feel like on his frame, he would probably have to carry about 15 more pounds of muscle to bang heads with people like Fuad because he's tall. So you, you got to take that into account. Um, you know, after that, Max Charles, again, who's a big guy, but doesn't have the same kind of shape and the hardness and the dryness of the other guys. And then rounding it out would probably be that Luke Sandow and... Um, Vitaly, Vativ, I mean, those guys could probably maybe win. I don't know, because I've never seen them, but I have to leave them out because of the fact that I don't know who they are. Now, the 212 division. They have a classic physique or no? Um, Arnold Classic Physique Men's Division. Fuck, there's 32 guys in Classic Physique. Most of these guys I've never heard of ever. Shit, there's not one fucking name I recognize 
in this whole thing. So I'm not going to try to call that one because there's no fucking way. So we're going to go to 212 class. Now, Ahmed Ashkani, don't know who he is. Guy Sustanino, Charles Dixon, Dave Henry, Manuel Machado, I don't know who he is. Jose Raymond, Mitchell Stats. I've actually met Mitchell before. We used to be on the same board together. Professional muscle. I met him at the Junior USA's um, 2000 and, let's say, 11 or 12, maybe 2012 Junior USA's. And um, he won there. I mean, he looked phenomenal. The kid was, was, did he win? I don't know if he won. Well, my buddy Eric won the Super Heavies. I don't remember if he won, but he, was, he turned pro pretty quick after that. Um, Jose Raymond, Mitchell Stats, Zane Watson, not sure who he is. Quincy Winkler, which I believe is Ruli's younger brother. Kayong Wan Kang, no idea. And Hidetashi Yamagishi. Now, first place, Jose Raymond. I absolutely feel, I've seen pictures of Jose recently fucking better than ever. He is absolutely better than ever. He's big, he's full, he's hard. Not quite as pretty a shape as Hidetate, who I'd pick for second place. And Hidetate comes in sharp, but here's the thing. Jose's got this graininess to him right now. It's He's grainy as fuck, he's full as fuck, and he's big. So when he hits those poses, he's going to be able to look a little more impressive than Hide. And if Hide is off just a tad, Jose's going to beat him. If Jose's off just a tad and hold him water, he's going to lose that overall effect. Hide comes in sharp, better shape, not bigger, but better shape and harder he's going to beat Jose. So one and two is going to be Jose and Hide. Guy Sistonino, I can see him and David Henry battling it out for third and fourth. I can see those two guys. Um, I believe David Henry would take him in third. Um, fourth, I see Guy Sistonino. Guy is improving like tremendously very quickly. Um, you know, the other guys, I really haven't seen them, so I don't, I don't really know who they are. These are the guys, I know their physiques, and I've seen them, you know, recently. So I can say those would be the top four right there and... You know, everybody else is kind of fall in line depending on if they're, you know, in shape or not, whether they nail it that day or not. So, I mean, you know, I was kind of disappointed it wasn't a lot of people in the, you know, the Arnold Classic, a lot more bigger names going for because, you know, it still technically is the second biggest bodybuilding competition in the world. You know, the Olympia, then you have the Arnold Classic Ohio. And um, it, it's kind of disappointing because it's always one of those shows that, you know, you're waiting to see the, you know, the top guys. You know, sometimes, you know, Mr. Olympia doesn't go, but sometimes the rest of the Olympians go and they battle it out to, you know, let's face facts, be it the front runner going into the Mr. Olympia. And it's a nice payday. It's like a $250,000 payday or some shit like that, you know, for first place. So it's like the second highest paid show that there is. So it's like they can be the front runner, get a bunch of promotion and press, and at the same time get paid well. So it's like, it's kind of like, if you're not going to beat Phil Heath, you should do the, the Arnold because, I mean, that's, you know, the next best thing. And nobody's going to beat Phil. But anyways, so, you know, we'll see where things lie. I can't wait to get up there. I will be at the Arnold Classic on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I'm leaving a little early Sunday. But Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at the Primeval booth. Come by. We got giveaways. We got all kinds of shit going on. It's going to be a fun time, a great time. I'm home for a week, and then I head out to Australia. I'll be going to the Australian Arnold for the first time. I'll be out there for six days. I am super excited. A lot of people from Australia write me. They watch. They come to visit me here at the expos and stuff. And I'm just happy to get down there and be able to go down to their home and check things out and learn some of their culture and see things with my own eyes down there. And I'm super excited. So we'll see where I fall. So I got, you know, what's his name? Cedric McGill winning the overall heavyweight. And I got... Uh, Jose Raymond, I forgot his name. Jose Raymond winning the 212. We'll see where it turns out. So this is the Arnold Classic Bicep. We'll see you guys out there and we're out.